Hi folks, this is Crystal Nato coming to you from goodbrain.com photo. I'm in my home office and I'm editing a podcast and I thought I would add to the screen recording from the last one and show you how easy it is to bring a file into GarageBand. The version that I'm using is 10.3.1. I'm on a Mac laptop and I'm just going to access the file. I've called it my master file and this is just how I manage this podcast. I'll do a series of master files so that I have originals to get back to and I don't have too many originals in one file should one become corrupted. That's my process. Works for me. So I have three more. This will be the last one when I get to number 20 and then I'll start a new master file and I'll start this process all over again. It's easy to do because I can actually make a duplicate. Um, but for this particular screen capture, I want to show you how to bring in a audio file into the tracks. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit the plus sign right here, and it's going to say choose track type. So I'm bringing in an audio file. I don't have anything picked up. I've got an MP3 file that my client has emailed me. I download it onto my system, and then I choose, you can see my settings. I, I, do not, I don't do output any input or output because I don't need it. So it's just this one. Click on that. Make sure it's highlighted. You can see that the box says that it is. right? And say create. And that creates an audio track. And depending on where you are in this menu of audio files, the track will show up. But you can actually just click and drag these. As you can see, when you let go, it would drop it. Now the neat thing is... This is, says audio 15. However, I don't have to change the name before I bring the auto file. It will do it automatically. So what does that look like? My actual process is once I've gotten the MP3 onto my system from my downloads folder, all I need to do is, uh, I've already looked, I've gotten 20. Um, this is episode 22 because there's a special 21 coming that I don't have yet. And you can see that it automatically changed the title to match the title that was here. And that's it. Super simple. Click and drag. Now, if you watch my last screen captured video from doing podcast editing with GarageBand, you'll note that these are my what I call my backtracks. And so this is my opening music. This is my opening 30 second spiel, my elevator pitch, so to speak. Not mine, but Ben's. But it is my voice. And then there's three breaks of I'm going to listen to this. I'm just going to hit play. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to take out the dead air space where I can and make sure that this lines up where I want it to at the end. I can zoom up a little bit so I can come slide over here. I don't have to do a lot of work here, but what I want to do is find out where this ends and just make sure that it sounds like a nice fade out because that's a fade out. And then the other thing I'm going to look for is back here. Where does this begin? Depending on what's going on here, I may decide to shorten it. Um, uh, by slicing it out or doing some other things to the actual backtrack. And that's what this is. You can see that these are in pieces. So I basically have split uh, the track and shortened it up. And you have to kind of beware when you do this because sometimes you, you'll create a gap there. So depending on where that gap is on what's going on up here, I can hide it. It masks it. You don't even realize that it's there. So that's it. I hope this is helpful for you and uh, know that if you're looking to start a podcast, I can certainly help you out with that. Uh, send me a direct message and I'd love to help you get going. All right. Take care. Podcasting is easy and fun. And I say go for it. You got nothing to lose. Ciao for now.